at both practically and metaphysically, without that behind you, without the knowledge of you as a, both a biological and a cultural creature, without that depth of knowledge, you, can't have, you don't have the courage to do it. You, because you don't know what you are, what you could be. And so without that, because you're a historical creature, you know what, S students ask me sometimes, why study history? It's like, well, because history is about you, that's why. It's like, history tells you who you are. You can't tell who you are because you only live a little while. How the hell can you figure out who you are? So you need all this collected wisdom and all this dream-like information and all this mythology and all this narrative to inform you about what you are beyond what you see of yourself. And you know, you're pummeled down and people picked on you and there's 50 things about you that are horrible and you know, you've got a self-esteem problem and you're sort of hunched over and you've got all these problems, you know, and so it's not easy to see, let's say, the divinity that lurks behind that and unless you're aware of the heroic stories of the past and the metaphysics of consciousness, let's say, I don't think that you can have the courage to regard yourself as the sort of creature that can stand up underneath that intense existential burden and move forward in, in courage and grace. And, of course, that's part of the reason that I'm talking about these biblical stories, and it's 9.30, so we're going to have to stop. <laughs> <laughs>